on, Rochelle here, and I'm back to share some yarn goodness with you all today. Okay, so let's talk about some super awesome knitting patterns for the home. And these patterns are going to be free and paid, and also they're going to come in a lot of different yarn weights. Everything from fingering to bulky, it's going to be something for everyone. Now, you all may be wondering, what am I wearing? So I am wearing my Sophie scarf, and this is by Petite Knit. I'll leave the links to everything I talk about today in the description box below. And this is actually some yarn that I dyed. I'm so proud of it. It's one of the oldest colorways that I have in my shop. And yeah, it's a fun one. This is Crazy Peacock. Anyway, that's not why y'all are here. Let's talk about knitting patterns for the home. Okay, so first up we have the Knit Knot Pillows and this is by Erin Black. So this is a paid pattern and it calls for worsted weight, which I love because you all know that worsted weight yarn is my favorite yarn weight. I can't get enough of worsted weight yarn. And so this pattern or these pillows come in a variety of sizes. And so I have my notes. It comes in a 16 inch square, which is 40.5 centimeters, a 12 inch diameter ball, which is 30.5 centimeters, and a 20 by 16 inch rectangle, which is a 51 by 40.5 centimeter. So lots of different things. Um, I think this will look great on a sofa or the bed or whatever, you know, wherever you want to put it. I think it would look really, really good. All right. So up next, we have the Teddy Pillow, and this is by Petite Knit. This is a paid pattern, and it uses bulky weight yarn. And so this pattern, the, te the uh, Teddy Pillow, I love the name. I feel like the name lives up to the way it looks because it looks so squishy and soft like a teddy bear. But anyway, this pattern contains instructions for both square pillows and a bolster like pillow. So once again, depending on your style, you can mix and match the styles of the pillows that you like and customize them to your own home decor. And both pillows are worked in stockinette stitch. So if you can do stockinette, I do believe you all can figure this out. Um, I do believe there is a zipper involved, but y'all look, there's so many tutorials on YouTube. You can definitely figure out how to put the zipper in. Okay, so moving right along, this is actually one of my favorite patterns for the home. And it is the traditional dishcloth by Stacy Perry of Very Pink Knits. So I know that quite a few of you all may be familiar with Very Pink Knits. She has some amazing tutorials. I, whenever I forget how to do a knitting stitch, I run to her channel because she's got it in regular speed and slow-mo. I love it. So this is a free pattern. And for this pattern, it calls for worsted weight yarn. Um, of course, you can always, you know, play around with that if you want to. But uh, this pattern, it does come with a YouTube tutorial. And it includes instructions for making rectangular dishcloths and square dishcloths. So if you kind of want to maybe like turn one into more of a scrubby, you can definitely do that as well. I personally have made this in a cotton yarn and scrubby yarn. I have made... I have made at least 10 of these dishcloths. And so <laughs> please enjoy some clips from some very old YouTube videos of mine. have the colorful half and half washcloths by Pearl Soho. 
Pearl Soho is amazing. They have a lot of great patterns for home decor. And so this is a free pattern and it calls for sport weight yarn, which I think is so fun. And I simply love the color blocking variations on these washcloths. I mean, it is so customizable. You can do whatever you want. You can color block any way you want to. I love that asymmetrical design. It's very minimalistic, but I just love it. And also I love that cute little loop that you can make to maybe put it on the wall or on a holder or something like that. I think not only is it aesthetically pleasing, but it's also very practical. And so these are definitely some that I want to make. All right. Next, we have the Geometric Wall Hanging, and this is by Ashley Marston of Yarning for Knits. Now, this is a paid pattern, and it uses Aran weight yarn. And what I love about this wall hanging is just those clean, geometric lines. I just, I love that minimal design, those geometric shapes. I just think that it is absolutely fantastic. and I've been wanting to make a wall hanging and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like macrame or what. Um, I do realize with this pattern, I am going to have to do some intarsia and I have never done intarsia knitting before. So, oh, well, it'll just be a new skill to put in my knitting tool bag. Okay. Up next, we have the bunting pattern. And this is by Faye Perium Reed of Buttons and Beeswax. I love that name, Button and Beeswax. It's so fun. So this is a free pattern and you can use any weight you want. Of course, the yarn weight is going to determine the size of the triangles. And so I actually have been really wanting to make some bunting to go in my office. I have a white shelf in my office that I feel like could use a little bit pizzazz. So I thought some bunting would be super, super cute. And so that's what I want to do. I'll probably do some coordinating colors to my office. Um, my office, it's light gray, purple, white, black, Something like that I think would be super, super cute. Or I might just go rogue and make rainbow bunting. Yeah, I might just go rogue and just do something crazy. <laughs> I just never know until I get started, y'all, okay? So this is just so much fun. And each triangle is just made of entirely garter stitch. So if you can knit back and forth, you got this, it's not a problem. And also to string those triangles together, you can use ribbon or rope or whatever you wanna to use to string that up and uh, hang those triangles and you can make it as long or as short as you want. Um, in addition to just like pizzazzing your office, you could put it in your cubicle, you could put it in the baby's nursery. There's lots of things you can do with this bunting. All right, so moving on. We have the Be Mine Heart Garland by Christian Ashby Hemreich of Jimmy Bean Wools. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I messed that name up. But anyway, it's by Jimmy Bean Wools, which you all may be more familiar with. So this is a free pattern and it uses sport weight yarn. And this pattern is so great for using up those scraps of yarn that you have, or maybe just those leftovers that you've had from patterns that are not quite big enough, like the balls aren't quite big enough for like a full garment or a full hat or whatever, but you still have like those little leftover scraps left. And so this pattern would be great for that. And I love the little hearts. And of course you can make your hearts any color that you want. I just think it's really fun and really sweet. Okay, y'all. Next up, we have more garland. This is the Starlight Garland by Rebecca J. Venton of Yarnspirations. Yarnspirations is also a big well-known company, um, but Rebecca J. Venton was the one that designed these. And it is a free pattern, and it calls for Aran weight yarn, which is also a really fun yarn weight as well. 
And this pattern includes uh, instructions for two different sizes. So you can make big stars or little stars, however you wanna do it. The pattern will guide you through both sizes. And those stars are knitted and finished with a crochet chain hanging loop. How fun is that? I love when crochet and knitting collide. I love when those two worlds come together. I just, I just think they're amazing. And so you knit the garland, but then you string it together with a crochet chain. How fun is that? So I really, really like that. Okay, so the next pattern we have is the Geometric Wall Art by Anna Avaleva. <laughs> I don't even know why I try. <laughs> and this is by One Hat Store. That's her business, One Hat Store. So this is a pay pattern and it is used with DK weight yarn. And this pattern does come with video tutorials. So that's wonderful. I definitely feel like I'm gonna need it. But really, according to the pattern page, you only need to know how to cast on, knit, purl, and cast off. I think I can handle that. So yeah, I think I'll try that one. I really like it, it's, it's really fun. And I just think it's neat to like frame your work like an art piece, cause knitting, crocheting, crafting, it's art. So, you know, this will be really fun. Okay, this next one cracks me up. I love it. And it is Jeremy the Sausage Dog by Amanda Berry. Now this cracks me up because my husband's name is Jeremy and I find that hilarious. So this is a free pattern and it uses DK weight yarn. So basically what this is, is what's called a draft excluder. And that's just a big name for something you put at the bottom of your door to keep the air draft out. So it can really save on like heating costs and cooling costs and things like that. It just keeps the air from coming up under your doors. And so this is just a cute, adorable way to do so. I love those little floppy ears and there's a lot of other uh, patterns like this as well. Of course, you all don't have to stick to these patterns, but perhaps you can find some inspiration. And so, yeah, I just, you know, in addition to being a practical air or draft excluder, I just think it would make a fun toy. Like this would be so fun to put on the couch. Like it could be really, really fun just as a toy. Okay, so this next one, I definitely want to make a curtain tie. It is by Nine Bark Knits because I have lots of curtains in my house and it would be nice to be able to put them back. And actually um, in some, in one of the rooms of my house, I actually made a crochet chain and used that as a curtain tie. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but this one is super fancy. And it is a pay pattern. But I'm gonna be honest with you all, I honestly feel like you could figure this out. I really, really do. But it is a paid pattern. So the yarn weight, there really isn't like a determined yarn weight because depending on the yarn weight you use, depends on the size of your curtain tie. And of course you really wanna base that on your uh, type of curtain and how much you want it to um, be held back. So yeah. All right, and also I think it's just a fun, cute way to pull your curtains back and just show them off. I think it looks really great. And I also love that little um, button that you can you know, close it with and just, you'll have fun picking out buttons because I love picking out buttons. I really, really do love buttons. Up next, we have the Gold Lace Table Runner by Whitney. Grits Mancher. Oh my gosh. If I had a dollar for every time I messed up somebody's name. <laughs> okay, this is a free pattern and it uses worsted weight yarn. And I just love the stitch work of this table runner. Um, I think it would just be like a really nice, classy addition to my kitchen table. I just think it is fantastic. Next up, we have the Farmer's Delight by Drops Design. 
Now this is a free pattern and it is made with bulky weight yarn. Love that because you know this project should knit up quickly. So I just love the simple yet practical design of this basket. It's so wonderful. It's just, it's amazing. And you can use it for so many things. You can make a bread basket, a yarn bowl. You can use it for toys. You can use it for whatever um, you want. And I also think that it would be super cute as a small potted plant holder. Super cute. I really think that would be really, really nice. And I actually might try that. Yeah, because I need to make a trip to a nursery soon because I want some little bitty potted plants that I won't kill. <laughs> I'm pretty good with plants. I really, really am. But um, I don't have any indoor plants and I really, really want to get some. So I want to start small. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So next up, speaking of plants, we have the You Grow Girl Pot Holder by Lauren Aston Designs. Now this is a paid pattern and it uses bulky weight yarn. And so what's really cool about this pattern is that you get two patterns in one. You get a hanging basket, but you also get a wall hanger. And I just think a nice little potted plant will look so great in either of these. And then of course you can use them for other things as well. Like, ooh, like holding mini skins. That would be really, really fun. Okay, so the next pattern we have is the Hexi Coaster and Placements. And these are table placements. And so this is a paid pattern and it uses DK weight yarn. And I absolutely love this hexagon design. It's just so modern and clean. And I think it's really, really nice. Um, right now, all of my table placemats are rectangular, but how fun would some hexagon um, table, you know, settings be? I just think that was so nice. And then you can make matching coasters to go with it. And y'all, I'm really big on coasters, okay? If you come to my house and you put a drink down, I'm probably going to lift it up and put a little coaster underneath it because, you know, I like to protect my surfaces, okay? <laughs> okay, so um, these coasters and placemats, they are created using alternating stockinette and reverse stockinette stitches. So that will be a new um, a new skill for me. I have never done reverse stockinette, so it'll be a new skill for me. All right, y'all, let me know if you have ever knitted any of these patterns or if you want to knit some of these patterns. And also let me know what other patterns that you all like for the home. They can be knit or crochet because I'm most likely, in fact, I know I'm gonna be making a crochet version of this video as well, because there's a lot of fun crochet patterns out there for the home. So give me some ideas, let me know. And actually I have created a Ralvary bundle with over 30 fun knitting patterns for the home. So yeah, and of course, as time goes on, if I find more fun patterns, I'm just gonna keep adding them to the bundle. Okay, so I have links in the description box below for everything that I talked about today. And yeah, also have links to all of my favorite knitting tools as well. And so check out my YouTube community tab. I asked a lot of fun questions there and I love reading you all's responses. Also check me out on Instagram. I'm trying to do better on posting to Instagram, but we'll see. And uh, let me know what you worked on while watching. Did you knit, crochet, weave, spin, or did you just sit and chill? Or maybe, maybe you did some chores. Hopefully I helped you through that because that's never really fun. But uh, yeah, and if you all would like to further support my channel, I will leave my Ko-Fi link below and just thank you so much for watching if you want to continue watching me you can simply click on one of the icons on the end screen to continue watching and so until next time bye mm -hmm.